Hey everyone, it's Eric, and I'm going to show you how to protect a WordPress login using HT Access. Um, so we're going to be protecting sarahamonson.com slash wp-login.php. And really what we're trying to do is head off people who are brute forcing the server by running dictionary attacks or, or automated attacks. We want to stop them before they even get to WordPress so that they don't cause too much load on the server. So as I said in the a uh, little article. There's basically three steps to this. The first is to create a hidden password file. So we're going to jump over to cPanel and we're going to go into the root of her uh, hosting account here. And we're just going to create a new file to hold the credentials. And we're just going to, in this case, call it let's call it wp-admin to remind us that we're that's what we're protecting. Um, and I'm going to create that new file. And if we scroll down here, we see it, and it's zero bytes. The second part of this is to generate a login and password and add it to that file. So we're going to use this nifty tool over at htaccesstools.com slash htpasswordgenerator. And I'm going to put in a username and a password and then create the file. And what you'll see here is it comes back with one string that's username colon encrypted password. We're going to copy that whole thing, go back to WP Admin, and then let's edit this. We're going to add that right to the top, save changes, and then close that file. So then um, we've generated the password, we've added it to the file. The last thing to do is really to tell the website that it needs to authenticate against this file. So we're doing, using sarahamonson.com. We're just going to jump in here. So this is her website. We're going to open up HT Access. And then right up at the top of HT Access, we are going to add um, oops. I'm going to add this little snippet here. What we're doing is we're basically serving up an error when they try to access wp-login.php and they don't authenticate correctly using this authenticated file. So this is home pedestri wp admin If we go back to file manager and home pedestri, and we've got that wp-admin right there. So I'm going to save this bad boy. And when we go back to Sarah's login page and refresh, first thing we get is this authentication required. Now this is coming from the server, and I have to actually put in, if I do it wrong, and then just get an error. If I do it right, then I should get taken to the WordPress login page where I can log in like normal. That's it. I hope that helps.